Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, showcasing a new watch addition to the collection, and that's the Rolex Explorer 36 in steel and gold. If you guys can see that there, hopefully the camera is focusing because I can't see shit, but ah, it's um, something that's a bit different to what I'll usually go for gold. I'm not really a gold person. But um, I'm fortunate and lucky enough to have a brother who's also into the watch game. He's into the watch hobby as well. We basically talk about watches on a daily basis. We're basically kids in our grown up bodies spending money on dumb shit. But um, yeah, this watch was his actually. So uh, if you've been keeping track of the channel or if you've watched my previous videos, I kind of showcase my journey with having the Seamaster as my everyday beater exploration watch which I then sold for the Explorer 40mm and uh, I've actually traded with my brother the Explorer 40mm for his uh, 36 steel and gold now the Explorer 40 I got that brand new so brand spanking new never been worn still has stickers on it and I sold my Seamaster for that watch now the Seamaster in dimensions was about 50 mils lug to lug, 42 mils in diameter, and on my six and a half inch wrist, it felt substantial, but it was it still wore okay. It was still fine, right? So I had that watch for about six years, and it served its purpose. Moved on from it. The Explorer 40. Now, the Explorer 40, it wore fine on me just because I'm quite tall and I'm quite broad as well so even though I have slim wrists everything else is quite uh, quite not large but in shape right so and especially when doing physical activities like hiking swimming and whatnot the Explorer 40 was perfect because I could see exactly what the time was from a distance you know from a glance straight away the sizing was okay and even the lug to lug of the Explorer 40 it was under 47 uh, mil so it was still quite wearable now my brother has bigger wrists than I do his wrists are about 19 plus centimeters in circumference and about seven and a half inches plus in in, uh, in circumference so basically a whole inch larger than mine and when my brother tried on the 40 and I told him let's not bullshit each other. It fits much better on you than it does on me. Just straight out. Now, 36, however, as you can see, fits a lot better on my wrist. And that's just the nature of having slim wrists, right? So, uh, since it's gold, I'm kind of torn with the watch, in all honesty, if I gotta be honest just because I bought the Explorer as the exploration watch, right? So I wanted to explore everywhere, all the, um, pretty much all over the world with it um, and just take it everywhere with me. But with this watch, because there's the precious metal on it, yeah, I'm not gonna take this over when I go to Europe because if people see me wearing this, they're probably just gonna stab me in the stomach and then take it from me, right? It's very, it's not ostentatious, but it is quite flashy because it attracts a lot of, uh, attention because of the, of the color of it so uh, I thought about it and then obviously I decided to pull the trigger on it because of the sizing if it was steel it would have been perfect for me but I can still make do with gold uh, obviously with gold you're gonna see that it's gonna scratch quite easily but that's just the nature of the metal it's already starting to oxidize as well on the solid end links here so they're starting to have a bit of patina but that's fine because this is an older watch not that old, but 2022, right? Two years ago. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's really just the size, experiencing a 36. You know, unfortunately with Rolexes, I can't just go into a store willy-nilly and buy one. I have to basically do a whole monster hunt to try and find an example. And 40 was available, bought it, uh, enjoyed it, it was good. Uh, but now it's with my brother who, you know, it fits him better. And then I've got this. So when I travel overseas, I'll just bring the Tudor, the Black Bay. It's, I'm okay with that getting beat the fuck up. Uh, and this watch here, I'll just uh, save it for a different type of exploring, right? So if I go to a fancy pants restaurant that I want to showcase, then I'll wear this. If I go to a nice place, you know, out with a with the missus on a on a on a, on a date or something, then I'll wear this. 
uh, just not overseas maybe interstate yeah just not overseas so yeah that's the video new watch and uh yeah so great and fortunate to have a brother again uh if you guys have siblings who are in the watch industry or you know in the watch hobby then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about it's very easy to trade in and out of watches and uh yeah definitely thanks for watching and hopefully i can do some different type of exploring with this catch you next time